Men should always pay on the first date, and this is why. There's about to be two grand on my face, starting with Dior Moisturizer, 135 Dior Capture of You Serum, 125 Dior Primer, $50. Armani Primer, $46. Olive Filter, $49. Chanel Liquid Highlighting Drops, $57. Fraud. Dior Foundation, $57. Dior Concealer, $40. Chanel Bronzer, $60. Chanel multi u Stick, $50. Chanel Blush Stick, $54. YSL highlighter, $27. She talking Chanel like that? powder, $56. Dior bronzer, $50. Dior highlight, $50. Dior backstage, $48. These Dior blushes, $80 total. Dior backstage, $52. Eyeshadow, $68. Dior eyeliner, $35. $68. Game Moonstone, $24. Eyeliner, $35. Eyelash curler, $35. Dior mascara, $33. YSL mascara, $35. World Lip Liner, $24. Charlotte Tilbury Liner, $25. Chanel Lip Duo, $48. Chanel Lip Gloss, $40. Urban Decay Setting Spray, $36. Total cost is $1,745. If you're a girl, make sure the men pays. Don't waste two grand on nothing. It's a shame because her eyes are really going to anchor her face. They're really beautiful. But unfortunately, you spent $2,000 to be a fraud. And why are you holding your lips like that? Why are you talking like that? That's weird. Just to clarify, I didn't delete the video saying that men have gotten less attractive and women have gotten consistently more attractive over the years. I don't know why it's saying that you guys can't see it because I can see it on my end. Because it was I don't know. stupid. TikTok glitch. They, they do not care. Like we hold ourselves to such high standard and like to the fact that like we are trying to achieve such an unachievable beauty standard. They don't care. They roll out of bed, pajamas. And they roll they out of bed. Get yeah. Want, they roll out of So what's going on with your hair right now? You telling me you made that, you did that? That's the beauty standard you're trying to uphold? Bed, like literally holes in the socks. Like they don't give a fuck. Holes in your underwear. Yeah, do, they are. Do better, like, guys. You literally have holes in his underwear. Like you have money to go buy underwear. Why didn't yeah, you do Yeah, do, do it? better, guys. Ugh. They don't know how to brush their teeth. They don't, like they expect a woman. Don't put deodorant on. Like, right. It's common. Like, and constantly women are just trying so hard to like make ourselves look pretty. And people in the comments are like, yeah, well, makeup. Da, da, da. How about you wash your face, brush your teeth, and maybe you'd look better. And that's why you're and mad. maybe groom your face. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe clean up the clippings after you shave your face. Clean the clippings off the sand. Your toenails. It's <laughs> not hard to clean. We, we spend so much money on our nails, our toenails. And you they can't even, like, you can't even clean or file or trick. so fake a lot of the stuff that you have on isn't even yours i take your point men you need to be grooming yourself on a daily basis i got it i got it i agree i am in my soft guy era why are you giving me twenty dollars to get lunch talk to him what babe. am i gonna do with twenty dollars if you're not sending me a hundred fifty dollars ask my girl Bare minimum. if you're not sending me a hundred and fifty dollars for my food, what purpose do you serve? I am in my soft guy era. I'm talking to this girl. She said, hey, do you want to stop over at McDonald's? Do you hate me? <laughs> you should have said Chick-fil-A. And at that, that is still disrespecting me. I only do Ruth Chris, Del Frisco's, and Nobu. You should know that. Me and my guys are out at dinner for my birthday. And I invite you as my girl. Why aren't you picking up the bill for all of my friends? Talk her. I am in my soft guy era. I'm talking to my girl. She sent me $40 for a haircut. I sent it right back. What the fuck am I going to do with $40? Why aren't you sending me 150 minimum? That's why I don't have a haircut. I'm not <laughs> going to tolerate that disrespect. I'm in my soft guy era. $172.97 bare minimum, King. Bare minimum. Let's have a TED talk. A Steph talk. If you know one thing that frustrates me as a single woman, frustrates the absolute head of me, is when I'm venting to people or talking to friends, family, about how, you know, like I crave somebody, like I crave to be in a relationship, I do, like I'm ready for it. Um, and like I want my person, I want, I want somebody to do things with. Usually the response is always, oh, well, you know, you have to love yourself first and, you know, yep. enjoy your own, your time by yourself. I do. I love myself. I absolutely adore myself. I do most things by myself. I go on dates by myself. Do I love spending that. time alone. 
Um, I'm going out the country alone in a couple of days. Like that has nothing to do with. I really don't understand why people think that the two things can't be true at the same time. Like I can love myself and enjoy my own company and still want somebody like, of course, like I would love to have somebody to do things with, to enjoy life with, but I'm not waiting on somebody to enjoy those things. Like I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it just fine by myself. But yes, I absolutely do want somebody to do things with. So please, please stop saying that to your single friends. Oh, enjoy, you know, love yourself. I promise you we do, we do. Especially we've been single for a long time. I've been single for two years, two years. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm you got these people out here regurgitating this stuff and they're tired of hearing that. I want to be with somebody. Well, just continue loving yourself. I already do. Well, love yourself a little bit more because you're not, You're just quit looking. You're not to that space yet. These women want men and y'all are giving them bad advice on how to date, on how to look for men and all this stuff. Fix it. I'm good. Thank you. Since a lot of men are visual creatures, uh, let me walk through what I just made. Why I won't sleep with a man. The average one bedroom apartment in LA, this is where I live, is $2,800 a month, although my rent is significantly more than this. That means that you have to make three times the rent in order to qualify. That Why'd you say sleep with instead of marry? That's funny to me. $8,400 a month before taxes and $100,000, $800,000 a year. But hold on, I know what you're thinking. That sounds like a lot of money. Just wait. Men want to do this thing where they want to take your pants off. And that's fine because I want to take my pants off too. But hold on. If we have a little baby, oops, uh, the average two bedroom in Los Angeles is $3,800. That means that you now have to make $11,400 a month, which brings you to $136,800 a year. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, that's so much money, but wait. You're not really coming home with that $136,800 nah. because you have roughly 30% in taxes. And roughly. this is a conservative estimate, yep. okay? Meaning that $41,040 of that is going to be taken. So your new bring home is going to be $95,760 a year. But hold on. If we divide that by 52 weeks, that means that you are going to bring home $1,841.54 weekly or $7,366 monthly. I know what you're thinking. That's amazing. However, you have benefits do you know how much benefits are for a family of three on a silver ppo plan because be so for real i am not giving birth in a county hospital okay also um let's just pay a higher premium now unless you want to get a bill for a hundred thousand dollars at the end of the birth okay so now we're back to this seven thousand three hundred and sixty six dollars oh and uh 16 cents a month but let's just say let's estimate that we are doing seven hundred dollars bi-weekly on a family of three medical dental vision benefit plan that would be a new fifty nine hundred dollar take home but wait we still okay. have to pay rent fifty nine hundred minus thirty eight hundred for that average two bedroom because <laughs> where's our baby gonna sleep in the living room be for real right. um that means that we have left over twenty one hundred dollars for the month but we still have cars insurance utilities food clothes the dogs need to eat veterinary expenses that we wouldn't have expected baby have things etc sir we are now in the negative it seems like your priorities are slightly i get where you're going but some of those things you can kind of take out number one number two where is your job like what do you do for work he's got the bills like what do you do for work and i'm sorry but i am not going to sleep with a man to accidentally get pregnant when we are going to be living check to check because you physically cannot afford it and i know what you're going to say you should get a job you should be working the average cost of child care in the state of california is sixteen thousand eight hundred and sixty six dollars per year for ages zero to two or eleven thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars for money. ages three to five I am not gonna go and get yelled at by a boss and be stressed out and wake up and spend four hours a day commuting, two hours there, two hours back. This is LA, we have traffic, just to go and pay that much money in childcare when I could be home with the child. And before you say, oh my God, like you just wanna leech Ooh. off of a man, you're a bum. Um, babe, this is me in my two story apartment here in LA that I pay for by myself. So if I could already make all of this go round alone, why would I wanna complicate my life and add you to it? Mm, okay, girl math. She seems like a terror to be around. She makes some valid arguments, but God, dog, I'm a pass. Since a lot of men are visual creatures, uh, let me walk through what I just made. Here we go. Why I won't sleep with a man who makes less than $200,000 oh. a year. One bedroom apartment in LA, this is where I live. This is guy stink. What's funny is it's like women that do things like this, that go into strip clubs and sell their body for ones, get on the internet and sit here and have these these somewhat unrealistic requirements in men. And she's what a makes stripper. even crazier is, plus she's a stripper, right? Oh. 
And she just had an OnlyFans account that sold for $15 oh, a month. Oh, Lord. That's very cheap. But for oh, some reason, Lord. you have this high requirement in men, and it's, it's blowing my mind. Wow. And I know this because her ex-boyfriend, who dated a stripper, which is her, had reacted Jesus. to one of my videos. Like, if you type in Sebastian Scarface Mark, you're going to see the video. And, and I literally exposed it on my backup page. But it's like, why do women that sell their bodies, do immoral things, expect a man that makes that much money is <laughs> not even the money, not even about the money dancing for dirty ones in a strip club talking about you want a man that makes 200 grand minimum you do useless <laughs> i'm happy for you and what's even funnier is is when i got on bro head and i made my video he untagged her off his page and i guess they ended up breaking up yeah because like bro you you it's know you're know you doing something immoral you know you don't you, it's embarrassing come man. on you know you're you have a bad career choice you yeah. know that but you require 200 grand Nah, it's like you've got drug dealers out here and I, I understand it happens but you've got them out here talking about i want a good church girl why you're not doing the right thing you're on the path to destruction why would you bring somebody into that and it's the same thing here you're out here dancing and exposing yourself and the guy's not even, he doesn't even have it you exclusively. Why would he want to take care of that? Why do men want that? Except say, yeah, man, this is what I got on my arm. But really at that point in time, you're going to be an option, to be honest with you. This man can do whatever he wants and he'd be justified because that's exactly what you're, well, that, you met me like this. Okay, well, if you're going to continue to do this, I'm going to continue to do my thing. Ma'am, I get that you're taking care of yourself, but this girl math stuff has got your brain in the ditch somewhere. Let's not even talk about money. Men with character. What kind of man do you think that you're going to attract with that? How great are the odds? We can go to Sierra and, and Russell Wilson and this guy is getting smashed even seasons later, years later about the decisions that he made. I wish him the best, all of the blessings, but you can see how these things turn out because you're out here continually and still acting a fool. You have no signs of slowing down and a man with character is not going to want that type of woman. What do you think this is? Put that girl math down and get some logical math. But that's just my opinion. To the next video, I'm out.